He, I called him, mm -hmm. and because at the time he was in Florida, okay. and I said, "Dad, we're we're going to be moving to Africa." He's he said, "What?" <laughs> He's like, "Are you crazy? Are you nuts?" <laughs> It's like, what are you going to Africa for? You know? What for? What for? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Now, let me ask you. you. told me about the first time she told you, I want to go to Africa. Yeah. And then she told me how you expressed yourself. But I want you to, I want to hear from yourself. You know, <laughs> what did you say to her the first time she told you, Daddy, I want to go to Africa? Are you crazy? <laughs> what do you mean going to Africa? What for? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Exactly. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I, I asked my mom the other day, I said, Mom, you're, you're you know, reaching retirement now. Mm. Wouldn't you want to go to a beautiful place and retire and right. somewhere where your money can go a long way? Mm. She's like, no, I'd rather be broke and stay in Canada. Yes, this episode is brought to you by Terra Nova, Home for the Elderly. And uh, this space is created by a lady from the diaspora or people from the diaspora who understand the needs of the diaspora and moving back from the U.S and other uh, places around uh, the globe to Ghana and currently living here. Most people came back uh, retirement for their retirement. And um, sometimes, you know, not having a family member here is sometimes challenging. Um, if you are sick or the elderly at your home is sick and you have to go to work, you can't just leave them alone. So you need to, you know, find places like Terra Nova Homes where you can, you know, um, you know, sign up. You know, they have nurses who are certified also in, in CPR training, very friendly who can take care of, of um, the elderly with passion, not just anyone just wanting to just do it for the money, but people who are you know, dedicated with a craft and everything. And they are located in Tema Community 20, very close to medical facilities. So you don't have anything to worry, you know, very beautiful place. And yeah, check them out. Their name would be on the screen. Their telephone numbers will also be on the screen and also in the description, as well as their GPS or their landmark. So it will be very easy to look at them. So the name is Terra Nova. Hello and welcome back again to another amazing episode. As you guys all know, this is the Diaspora Transition episode where we speak with people who move back from the diaspora and currently living here on the continent. We speak to them, we ask them, you know, why did they even decide to move to Africa in the first place? We, you know, they share their experience uh, with us, what they are going through here, living here, their challenges. And on this episode, we have here very special people, a couple who moved back to the continent. I've been wanting to um, interview them when they reached out and I'm finally here with them. So without further ado, the Berry Empire. Welcome on the show. Thank you wow. for having us. Thank you. Now, we have here um, Mr. Kirk, that's what I know you by, yes, sir. but also Baby Jordan <laughs> and then Mo Spence. Yes. But um, people are watching you for the first time. They don't know who you are. I know who you are. Yeah. <laughs> But can you please briefly introduce yourself to the uh, viewers watching for the first time? Sure. Well, my name is Monique Spence. Um, my artist name is Mo Spence. So you can actually check me out on Instagram at mo.spencemusic. I make music, uh, singer, songwriter, um, producer, co-director, video editor. <laughs> yeah. Very, very famous musician, I must yes. tell you. I Thank saw the you. music video out there, the music that you were doing, the latest, Butterfly. Yes. And it's, it's pretty amazing. Yes. <laughs> wow, you. wow. Yes. And uh, so tell us about you. I've seen you doing your basketball sport thing, you know, coaching people, doing great on the continent. I saw what you did there. You organized some African youth and uh, you taught them how to play basketball. I know a little bit, but uh, <laughs> tell the, the audience uh, who you are, your background, and uh, yeah. Okay, well, my name is Kirk Berry, a.k.a. Baby Jordan. You know, it's not just a bald head. <laughs> um, my company is called Court Vision Athletics Incorporated, and we are a sports entertainment and training company. And our goal is to train and develop kids through sports, music, and arts, and uh, education. Um, and make sure that we motivate and you know, mentor kids of all ages and in the multiple sports as much as we can to make them make positive and better decisions in life. Wow. All right, so that's the sports side and everything. Mm -hmm. Of course, on music side, I work with the one and only Mo Spence here. Mm -hmm. um, I play drums and my band called July Soul Band. Um, Props to you guys back in Toronto. Yes. Um, we, we come together, we made a, ba a band, and we play for Mo Spence when she's on tour and her recordings. Mm -hmm. 
and we are her signature band so <laughs> we're very proud of it that is amazing that is amazing and you guys are on the continent yes, yes. yes. finally yes. <laughs> finally welcome to ghana thank, thank you. you what i normally say is before everything why did you guys decide to move to ghana <laughs> <laughs> why not why it's not? so beautiful here wow really yes wow so you are from um the u.s or canada from canada from canada and then he is also from canada yes wow and then you guys decided to move to the continent yes. how did that come about you know let's go to the beginning before the idea was was even came up you know yes. what triggered that for you uh, for me it was from 1990s in the 90s okay. um uh, do you know i think it was the movie nas was in it um i think it was oh. belly <clears throat> there was a part there was a scene where he went to visit Africa, mm. and I couldn't believe how beautiful it was. Wow. I said, wow, this, this is Africa? Because what I've been told, like people live in huts, mm -hmm. and there's flies everywhere on the mm -hmm. children, and the yeah. kids are starving, and there's diseases everywhere. Like That's what we were told, wow. right? Yeah. So when I saw that movie in the clip, I was like, wow, I really want to go visit. Wow. I see it for myself. Wow. You felt like you were lied to. Yes. Oh. For sure. Wow. We have been <laughs> yeah. Wow. So she she was that's kudos to those who did that movie uh, per se. Um, because of that movie, you are here. A lot yeah. of people said because of Wakanda, they are on the continent. Right? <laughs> yeah. No, it goes oh, way yeah. back, <laughs> which is very way early. Yeah. But um, will you say it was because didn't you even have an environment where it kind of you know kind of told you to hmm, maybe I should give it a second thought about Africa or even. You had a conversation or there's nothing like that no no no, no. It, was just that it was that movie and i just felt like hmm. something because i always felt like something was missing in my life hmm. living in canada i never really felt like that was my home wow you know wow. yes even though my parents are jamaican okay right they're yeah. jamaican background oh, wow. that's Tell what i have so my mom she's from hanover right um and she's yeah. she's like a black woman right my father is jamaican as well but he was in, he was living in born in um saint elizabeth mm. so you'll see a lot of like light skin really light skin like kind of whitish looking <laughs> you know spanish looking people there um yeah. so that's kind of what my dad looks wow. like that's why i guess i look like this but technically you're a Ghanaian because most yes. uh, jamaicans exactly. migrated from the ashanti kingdom uh, and then exactly. Uh, yeah, so let's hear you. How did it come about for? Uh... Well, um, for me, I'd been feeling such a strong ancestral call mm -hmm. through many things, um, through working with uh, young people and mm -hmm. working with young families and seeing the difference in cultures. Um, I had been the opportunity to be you know, in front of everybody and then meeting a different Africans along the way. And each time I've met African families, no matter what uh, country they came from, mm -hmm. um, I felt like there was a message being sent to me through them. Wow. Mm -hmm. And it was very strange. I do have a good friend, uh, haven't seen him for so long though, but he used to always go back and forth uh, to the mm -hmm. continent okay. every year. Wow. And I would ask him some questions like, why, why do you go back? Because I never knew what was up and of course knowing what our education and our programming has been about what the yeah. continent has been about mm -hmm. our mind was so polluted that we're thinking that it's a negative thing to come back yeah so i was able to learn a few things through him mm -hmm. and in my own alone time i felt that that strong pull and um also speaking to my parents mm. uh, when my dad was talking to me about doing different things based on what i do mm. He always mentioned things about doing things back in, um, in Jamaica mm -hmm. with our people or Africa. Wow. And um, it wasn't a long conversation, but it was a very sincere conversation that uh, I took to heart. Mm. And over the years, it's just been pulling me and I kept hearing it, kept hearing it. How many it. years are we talking about? <laughs> oh, we're talking a good 25 plus wow. years. Mm -hmm. And wow. it's very, very um, mm -hmm. strange. And I would always try to run away from it because I never understood it. And then again, trying to get away from it because of what we've been taught. Yes. Right? So once Mo and I have been able to meet and we come together and we talked about our experiences, mm -hmm. it, like, it, it ignited everything in both yes. of us. Wow. So it was like, okay, mm -hmm. we got to go. Wow. Yeah. We got to go. We got to find a way. 
a massive congratulation on yeah. the Thank you. Uh, newly wedded. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, thank you. Thank you. You chose Africa as a honeymoon, I would say. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yes. I'm, I'm, so, I'm so happy hearing you choose Africa. Because what we normally do is we choose other yeah. European countries to spend right. our money. Yeah. And uh, it doesn't help us. Exactly. <laughs> so welcome on the continent. Thank but I want to know how your, your family and other people feel. Because you moved back with your children ahead too. Yes. So, and then yeah. Grandpa, which I would love to speak, yes. speak to him yeah. about uh, moving back. But um, let me know what friends and family said when you told them, listen, <laughs> myself and my husband has decided to move to the continent. What did they say? Oh, my goodness. Mm. Are you crazy? <laughs> <laughs> why are you going to Africa? For what? It makes no sense. Yep. Yeah, you're going to, why would you move to Africa? Mm. Like, you don't know anybody. You don't know anything there. Wow. There's nothing there for you. Like, really? yeah, <laughs> you don't belong there. Like your friends. These are friends. These are family members. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yes. They're like, be careful. Oh, my goodness. Why would you want to go somewhere like Africa? Don't you know that people are going to kill you out there? There's snakes. There's this. There's... I'm like, oh, you guys are so yeah. ignorant. Hearing them say this, these are your friends. Yes. Wow. But what did your immediate family say? Your mom, for example. Oh, goodness. Yeah. My mom. <laughs> I love you, mom, <laughs> so much. Um, but she was telling me to reconsider. She Going literally, to yes, she yes, to reconsider. reconsider. She sent me a long message on WhatsApp mm. and she's like, please reconsider going to the continent. You know, plus she's like the fact that you're taking your father with you mm -hmm. and you just got married, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. you're, you're newlyweds. You wouldn't you want to enjoy each other, mm -hmm. you know, but the thing is, I am my father's power of attorney. I'm his power of attorney. Mm -hmm. I'm his caregiver. We, mm -hmm. we are. Mm -hmm. So we're not just going to leave him. No. You know, like he's like our responsibility at this right. point. But but he's he's good. He can take care of himself, right? right? But still, at the same time, there's wow. he's getting older now. Wow. And your mom was like, maybe you shouldn't go to Africa. Yeah, but why? She's saying, why do you think she said that? What, what um, do you think she has in mind about Africa? Lack of education. Mm. They all think the same thing. Oh, Africa's a dump. Mm. That's what they're saying. Africa is garbage. Wow. What are you What are you going to Africa for? There's wow. nothing there for you. Mm -hmm. Um. I, I asked my mom the other day, I said, Mom, you're, you're you know, reaching retirement now. Mm. Wouldn't you want to go to a beautiful place and retire and right. somewhere where your money can go a long way? Yeah. She's like, no, I'd rather be broke and stay in Canada. I said, really? Really? Nice. When you could be rich and living in paradise? Yes. Wow, she said that. She said that. And how many percentage do you think still has this mindset? Oh, over, oh, that's uh, 90%. <laughs> There's a few people who are awake, but 90% yeah. of wow. people. Well, how does that make you feel knowing that the truth about Africa is not out there and here is paradise and people doesn't know what it is? It makes me so sad. That's why we're here. We're here to educate the people, mm. our, our circle at least. Mm. Let them know there's a better way. Canada yeah. is not the end all be all. Wow. There's yeah. more to life than just Canada. Or the Western world. Right. So you don't agree at all when they say Canada is paradise? No, <laughs> no, no. Oh, my goodness, no. When you, if people go there, and they'll realize, like, really quickly, like, mm -hmm. uh-oh, what did I do? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's wow. too expensive here. Wow. It's, it's, wow. yeah, stress. Wow. Stress. Yeah. Is it the same for you, though? Because... Yeah, mm. it's the same and worse mm. because of, you know, working in the public sector. Mm. I get to work with people who um, never would even think about yeah, um, coming to Africa for a, a, a what trip. What sector is that? Let's, let's What's that? Like, what sector? Well, it's just to make it plain. Those who are not uh, African, those who are not uh, black, per mm -hmm. se, even though black is not a country, mm -hmm. but that's another conversation in itself. Mm -hmm. But um, those that just, you know, even though that would be deemed as what we would con con call the colonizers mm -hmm. of, of, you know, Mm -hmm. of the past and even present day mm -hmm. in their own way they're still colonizing um the continent right mm -hmm. and the mindset's still here yeah. unfortunately right but the mindset is also back in north america in the mm -hmm. western world mm -hmm. but nobody wants to believe that right that's this perception right right but um uh, that's when the programming is so so much yes. they don't understand that they are the program yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. right yes. so yes. um 
Yeah, everyone's mind has been so negative about the continent right across. Mm -hmm. They've been saying everything negative, like, oh, we're not going to find anywhere to live. Yeah. Um, how are we going to survive where there's no water, there's no toilets, there's yeah, no, there's no there's electricity? No, there's no water no electricity. in the U.S. right now. Yeah. I know, <laughs> yeah. exactly. Right? It's just interesting how we think, right? Yeah. And, um, and I can admit that we have been guilty of that growing up because yeah. we have been uh, a product of the programming, mm -hmm. right? Because we were in it, right? And it took different things to help awaken our mind, awaken our hearts, our soul, and everything to start to answer the calls of our ancestors and, and do some research on what happened yeah. to our ancestors. What, what sure. is the exactly. true stories? Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. we were never taught that, those two, two stories. Wow. Yeah. So, you know, being able to say, hey, let's come together mm -hmm. Let's put our hearts, our minds, our, our efforts, our businesses, mm -hmm. our talents, our gifts, mm -hmm. everything we've, we've learned and um, bring it back to the continent yeah. and work with our people. Yeah. Um, and that's what we're here to do. Wow. And it's, it, it's something we're saying, this is amazing. Mm -hmm. Of course, we're saying we wish we had done it Sooner. decades ago. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so you do have regrets. Yes, yeah, it's we do. regrets, but we understand that okay. nothing happens before, before it's time. time. It's but mm. to be really honest, we really yeah. wish it was a long time ago. Yeah. But then again, like I said, if, we never if we knew came, each other earlier. Yeah, we didn't know each other. And then if we had been here mm. decades ago, mm -hmm. would we have come with the right mindset? Mm -hmm. Would we stay? Would we be able to do anything? Would we think mm -hmm. correctly? Right, exactly. How would we look at our own people here? Mm. Yeah. Would we look down on them? All that stuff yeah. is Foolish part things. of it. Yeah. So I think, I think I believe this is the right time. Yes. Now, let's let's move back let's talk about growing up in canada mm -hmm. for you how was it like the the african culture there growing up with your parents and uh let's hear it how was it like for you uh, for me it was different because it was kind of my father side of the family they're very light skin yeah. and then my mom's side of the family is dark skin okay. so for me it was harder i was considered the darker one out of the siblings oh, wow. so i was always ridiculed mm -hmm. you know i was the ugly one. Oh really yeah i was the ugly one in the family because um, you are what because because i was darker because i was darker yeah mindset yeah mindset. you know i had the big nose mm -hmm. Um, I, I guess I had more of the Af African features than my siblings, mm -hmm. so I was, I wasn't really. This is deep. It's, yeah. Yes. And then they truly believed that you. Yeah, I never felt wow. lo loved. Really? Like yeah, I never really felt loved. Just because they've seen on TV and then the narrative says the more lighter you are. Yeah, the more exactly. You are. Exactly. Wow. Yeah, and all my aunts—they're all so beautiful. With wow. long hair. Because they are, they are having the features of the white man. Right. Or the white exactly. Yeah. Guys, yeah. we are dealing with a lot of <laughs> programming here. Yes. That is crazy. Yes. Wow. So this, this is crazy. <laughs> it's taking a moment to sink in yeah. what you just yeah. told me. Mm -hmm. So how, how did you react to that? How did you, you know, move through that even though you, you had that? Um, um, I think uh, music is what saved me. Okay. Um, I just dived myself into it mm. started writing lyrics mm. um, recording my voice yeah. on cassettes like wow. years <laughs> like yeah when i was a child i would just record myself i was just learning about myself mm. right wow. so i would do that just learn my voice I'm like oh my voice sounds interesting i have a different type of voice mm -hmm. started learning how to harmonize with my voice mm -hmm. Um, I just dug into music. That's that's wow. what I did. Wow. Yeah. That is beautiful. And you have a very amazing voice. Oh, yes. thank you. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not even like, oh. <laughs> listening to your, your music very, very well. Thank uh, you. And then I really soaked it in. Which yes. Is beautiful songs that thank you have. Thank you. Yeah. Talented. Ah, uh, thank he's you. He's behind, he's also yeah. doing instruments. Yes. And, um, yes. Let's talk about your upbringing and how music became part of you guys. Yeah. Wow. Well, uh, according to my mom, mm. she said the story that I've been playing drums even while I was inside her stomach. <laughs> <laughs> and like one of the first drum beats I played was the beat I was playing in her stomach. I, hey, moms are always right. You can never say, I was with mom. So I've been playing drums all my life. I've dabbled with a little bit of guitar in my first mm. early days and then um, trumpet. Mm -hmm. We tried... Um, 
uh, flute, mm. clarinet. Mm -hmm. um, what else? Bass guitar. Yeah. And uh, I always wanted to play the saxophone, but we have an amazing sax player. <laughs> oh, yes. Right, Mo Sax? Mo Sax, what's up? <laughs> and, and, um, and props out to Barry. Barry and the guitar. Yeah, crew, yeah, yes. yes. Yeah, From the band, family. Of course. You know, music so, family. <laughs> that was it. So music has been our family thing for sure, because um, I was always playing drums in church. My yeah. sisters were in the choir, one of my sister was like directing the choir. Okay. Um, one sings alto, one sings soprano. Mm -hmm. The other sister would be playing keyboards and writing songs mm -hmm. and they're lead singers as well. Wow. My brother was playing yeah, organ, bass, drums, mm -hmm. keyboard. Mm -hmm. My cousin played keyboard, my dad played this guitar, my mom <laughs> yeah, played banjo, or well, one wow. to at least. And, and then wow. my sister even played accordion. Wow. It was an interesting family. We, lived and um, grew up Breathe with music. And we, <laughs> Breathe music. music. So we would be that family that, you know, in the house is like everyone had their room or space in their room and there's always music playing. Everyone mm -hmm. had something different playing. So we grew up with music. Music was a very much a, a, a part of our lives. It helped right. grow us up and taught us a lot of things. Uh -huh. Like how, um, uh, who said it that uh, hip hop became our black CNN? Mm. Right? <laughs> so we started to learn a lot of things to music, you know, of course, yeah. same thing with you. So, um, yeah, it's been a part of my life, of course, yeah, of so course, so growing up in church, too. So that mm -hmm. that made it even, so even so more important. Now, yeah. I want to talk about what you guys were doing uh, in Canada in terms of work related and then why um, you guys moved back and what plans you guys have for Africa or what, you know, some of the things you guys are. Oh, uh, sure, for sure. I think um, the pandemic started the whole thing for us. Um, so we decided not to take the jab. So, yeah, so we lost our jobs. Wow. Yeah. Because we didn't take the jab. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, they, they pretty much bullied us. They bullied us. They bully you. Yep. If you don't take the jab, you lose your job, you lose your livelihood. This is taking me to the biblical times that say something will come and if you don't take it, you cannot buy anything or get a job. Right. This, yeah. is, this yeah. is the case. Yeah. This is the case. Wow. Yes. Yeah. So we were like, okay, what are we going to do? Okay, this is what we're going to do. We're going to use our gifts and our talents mm. and put it to use and make money off of it. Mm. So we, we did that for like two, three years straight. Yeah. Yes. And then we yeah. would just kept making money, making our money, saving, saving our money. Mm -hmm. We acted like we had no money. <laughs> Right, um, and we just that's how we got wow, here. That's smart. <laughs> we just, yeah, well, the, my plan actually, I when we first started thinking of leaving Canada, mm -hmm. we were like, okay, where are we gonna go? Where are we gonna go? Are we gonna go to Atlanta? Mm -hmm. Are we gonna go to Texas? Oh, yeah, cheap then, yeah, then we're like, no, nah. okay, mm -hmm. let's look at let's look at Africa, let's go to Gambia, wow. and then we we're like, oh, Tanzania, mm -hmm. Tanzania looks so beautiful, right? right? Mm -hmm. And um, Kirk is like, nope. We're going to Ghana. <laughs> wow. We're going uh, to Ghana. Why, why Ghana? Why did you choose to come to Ghana? <laughs> well, choosing Ghana wasn't necessarily that, mm. like we were saying, oh, Ghana is better than every other mm. country. Right. There are some specific things I was looking for because I'm thinking about our little one. Mm. Yeah. Um, not that, again, not, not that the other countries in, uh, in Africa did not have these. Mm. I will say at the moment, I did have enough information of the other countries. But okay. what I was able to gather mm. of Ghana is that certain infrastructure, certain setup, certain schooling, certain okay. things that we needed to make mm. sure Victoria really was... Need, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, we need to make sure she was taken care of for mm -hmm. her to make the transition easier. Yes. Um, and faster, so, so that we can help her, you know, be comfortable mm -hmm. and have a, a great experience. Not just an experience where, okay, you have to come with us because you're the child and you mm -hmm. just have to go with it. Right. We didn't want that. We wanted her to be able to be a, a part of an experience that mm -hmm. is going to be life-changing. That's oh, going to yeah. be something she'll look back and know mm -hmm. that if we didn't do this, mm -hmm. her life wouldn't be as good. As blessed. As yeah. blessed, right. So, like, so far, everything is working out based yeah. on what she tells us. Mm -hmm. So that was She's important. loving it. Yeah. Uh, plus, our Jamaican background, we yes. know that it comes from West Africa, exactly. yes. you know, specifically Ghana. Wow. So Very good point. we came here as well to learn yeah. about more of who we are. Wow. Now, let me ask this. Did you guys have any um, misconception even before coming? to the continent. Definitely. Yes. 
<laughs> definitely, definitely. Um, dump like that. It's a dump. Yeah. yeah, that it's a dump. Like we, at first, I thought I thought that there were you know hungry kids everywhere. I did yeah. think that. I thought yeah. that there were just poverty everywhere. But I decided, me, I'm, I'm a researcher, yeah. and I'm a truther, I guess you would say. <laughs> so I always search. I'm always learning. I'm a sponge. So yeah. I want to I know everything. I don't just listen to what the teachers told me or what somebody else told me. I want to see it for myself, wow. right? So I've done, yeah. I've just been searching and doing my own research yeah. to find that, <laughs> wow, Ghana, yes, Ghana. They lied. And it's the same people who come here yeah. and enjoy this place. Yes. Okay. They, they're having a great time here. And they're like, don't yeah. go there. Don't go there. Make sure you don't go. Mm -hmm. Right? They're the same people who are enjoying it. Wow. So before you make your own research, if someone, if you hear the name Africa, what comes to mind? Poverty. Poverty. Uh, war. War. Bloodshed. Wow. Yes. That's, wow. that's. That's what comes to and mind. That's the mindset you had about Africa. Growing yes, up. growing Actually, up. At what age did you um, find a trick for yourself? What age would be I mean, when I was? What, when how far from from now? Oh wow, that was probably eight, 20 years ago. 20, 20 years ago. 23 years ago. Okay. Yeah, yeah. 23, 24 you years find now. A trick for yourself. Yes. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. 24 years Man. ago. Was that the case for you too? Yes. It was very similar. Like very yeah. Same. Cause don't forget the program, right? Cause over in Canada, I remember it staying up late. And uh, they, they would put these commercials on, yes. and they would make sure they find like the most impoverished area mm -hmm. where children are suffering. They have their big stomachs, and their ribs are showing, and the mm -hmm. flies are everywhere. They maybe have a spoon of porridge to eat, mm -hmm. and then they try to they they those colonizers are there with those same children going, look, just one dollar a day mm. can save this whole family. Please donate. So yeah. in our minds, we're thinking that's the whole continent. Mm -hmm. The only thing that was different is yeah. the way they perceived and showed South Africa to us. Oh, mm. yes. Paradise. South Africa was taught to us that, oh, like you said, paradise, everything's nice. Ah, yeah. mm -hmm. And then we start learning about our the great Nelson Mandela, you know, great Nelson Mandela taught us different things yeah. and the real truth. So now we're like, whoa, so then why are you only showing that, that much and not showing the greatness? Exactly. The, the greatness of picture. the whole continent, right? Yeah. Wow. Um, and it's, it's sad. It's, it's very, very sad. sad. And then we start to learn now through our own research what their mindset was, how to manipulate mm -hmm. the masses mm -hmm. so that they can have mansions and great mm. things here. So mm. I do remember a, a documentary, I was working with my mom on this because my mom was going to university at the time. And we started to do some research stuff and I saw s somebody who was a missionary. Mm. Let's just say that. I'm not going to get the names, but they decided to do all this whole thing, go to some parts of Africa. Oh, send us money and we'll take care of the kids. We'll show you pictures mm -hmm. of their progress, mm -hmm. blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. And then to find out, a year or so down the road, that same person and their team was caught in fraud. Uh -huh. And when they showed their houses, their cars, uh -huh. their whole estate of numerous houses and apartment buildings and, and companies and buildings that they've had wow. built through the money that was donated, donated. to wow. them. I was like, so that's what they're doing? So then that means Africa can't be all yeah. full of poverty. Exactly. And then I did my, did my own research. That was in, in high school for me. Okay. And start going into it more. And I'm like, oh, something's up. Yes. So as time went on, you know, we kept learning more and more. Yeah. And um, that's what brought us wow. to the truth. Uh -huh. Look now around. you see the truth for yourself. Oh, we feel the yeah. truth. Let's go back to memory airlane. When you landed at the airport. Oh. <laughs> Why airport, Ghana airport. Yes. Tell me the feeling. Wow. We, okay, before we landed, <laughs> I'm going to cry now. We cried. Oh. We, when mm. we saw how beautiful the land was. From the air. Oh, <laughs> wow. It was, the color, like even the color is different here. Mm. 
Amazing. So we were, we were so emotional, we were mm. overwhelmed, and we, we I, like tears just wow. started falling out, out mm. of our eyes. Wow. And then was it just the emotions or you were thinking to something like, wow, this is Africa. Mm -hmm. This was not what he told me it is. Exactly. Was that a case? Yes. And seeing yourself experience it yeah. the way it is. And it was relief too. Wow. Yes. We were relieved wow. to be out of Babylon. Yeah, we left. Yep, you heard it. Yeah, Babylon. <laughs> we left yeah. Babylon. No, I didn't say it. You said it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we. I'll say it again. Babylon. Mm -hmm. So they said Babylon is going to fall. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's falling. What's your take on that? It it has fallen. It's just slowly falling. Mm. But it, yep. Wow. 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 So, so if someone, someone is watching from Canada, U.S., yep. What message do you have for them? They are contemplating. Do we go to Africa? Do we make the decision? We don't think Africa is great. It's a shithole. You've that's seen it they, for yourself. That's what they call it. Yes. Yeah. What would you say to them right now? They lied to you. Wow. They lied. Yep. This is paradise. <laughs> this is freedom. This is everything you can ever imagine. Canada is not, like I said before, Canada is not the end all be all. Mm. I'm telling you. Now, hearing from you, I mean, let me put myself in my Ghanaian, Ghanaian uh, <laughs> yeah. shoes. That does not compute. <laughs> You are telling me Canada is not paradise, no. and Africa, Ghana is paradise than yes. Canada. Yes. yes. It's perception, right? Now, we yeah. can obviously sit here and say um, that Canada, or the Western world mm. for, for, for that matter, mm. there is greatness across the world in the West. Yeah, yes. of course. There's positive stuff, there's good things, there's good systems, there's good this, mm -hmm. good that. There's advantages here and there, and so on, and so on, and so on. But we can stop and look at the whole thing and say, okay, fine, let me take away the whole flash mm. of the good thing. Yes. Now look at the realness of it. Now what do you have? Mm. Bills, 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 mm. bills, 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 mi like it yeah. never ends. The list goes on. And then the, when I really ask you, what do you have? You realize you actually don't have, have anything. anything. It's like you're telling me this is slavery. It's yes. You can't own your own land because if you don't pay the property yeah. tax, they will take your land from you. Yep. If you build a home on your land that you yep. bought, mm -hmm. yep. they will take the whole thing away from you just because you didn't pay your property tax. Yeah. Wow. And that's wow. just it's, property tax. That's yeah, one that's of just many property things tax. that they'll wow. use it against you. So you are saying that real freedom is here in Africa? Yes. Freedom. Oh, yes. Yes. Wow. But you're seeing all these amazing things on the, about the continent. <laughs> what are you guys seeing that I'm not seeing on the Ghanaian Ghanaian is not seeing? Because Do you look, look around you? <laughs> <laughs> like, it's, it's paradise. It's paradise. Wow. The people are so oh, beautiful. Just love, the people alone. Love the people. Are beautiful. Now, let's talk about what you guys are doing on the continent. Like I said, you said briefly the, the production and everything. But what plans do you guys have? And uh, if people want to even, you know, collab or work with you guys, how yeah, they um... Definitely. Um, so we're doing music here. Yeah. We're doing um, our multimedia mm -hmm. um, work here as well. Mm -hmm. uh, Kirk Sports, we're doing that yeah. as well. Uh, but if you would like to do music <laughs> with us, you can hit me up on Instagram, which is mo.spencemusic. Mm -hmm. uh, send me a DM. You know, let's see what we can do. Okay, awesome. Yeah. Only if you're serious, though. <laughs> Only if you're serious. Only serious people. Yes. Only serious people. And I saw you coaching some youth about yes. basketball. Yeah. Um, if people are watching, how do Well, uh, of course, the company's called Court Vision Athletics. Our Instagram is Court Vision Athletics. <laughs> And um, we're here doing amazing things with our business partner and brother, uh, Eagles Basketball. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Coach James. Yes. Love you, brother. Thank you. Uh, Thank we're, you. We're building so much things here yeah. and working with the organization that he's already established across the whole continent, mm -hmm. for that matter. Mm -hmm. And um, we're just now working together to try and... Um, build on what we have uh, done already individually mm -hmm. and now collectively this is us coming together to work with our own kids yes. on our own continent mm -hmm. in our own country it's very important extremely important to work with our own extremely people extremely important yeah because um yeah. it's uh yeah we work with kids and they're training them in basketball soccer football volleyball martial arts track and other things as we go along um and uh we're just looking to work with as many people who are 
are serious as well. Yes. And who are able to help us with our investments mm -hmm. and um, in the property, land, and organizations that will help grow what we're doing for the academy, mm -hmm. the youth sports academy. We want to make sure all these kids have a chance um, to learn sports at a high level, make sure their education is at a high level, mm -hmm. and give them a chance to make any decision they want, mm -hmm. academically, athletic, athletically as well, and um, build up the grassroots of sports in Ghana and um, work along with our, our professional levels. Mm -hmm. um, even um, the NBA Africa, which is wow. ball, B-A-L. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So we're definitely trying to do a lot of things here and um, it's Ghana to the world. Yeah. Ghana to the world. Yeah. Now, let me ask you, because people have been here in Ghana, it's like, listen, the doom saw is too crazy. <laughs> okay, the water's, you know, I'll be another shower and then it just goes off. How are you guys doing, or how are you guys adapting to this kind of inconveniences that uh, are here on the continent? Well, for us, for some reason, I guess, I don't know if it's because we're in Koforidia. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, we don't really experience that. Okay. Uh, we have a borehole here, mm -hmm. so yeah. we don't run out of water. <laughs> yeah. um, for the electricity, mm -hmm. we hardly had any power outages. Okay. You know, we, so we, it's not a car problem? No, it's not a, it's not a problem for us. Like, it, it's happened, yeah. but it only, the longest that maybe was 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. But I wanted to ask, why Koforidia? Why did you guys choose to move to Koforidia? Yes, straight from Canada. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> so Koforidia was a, a beautiful, you know, thing that brought us together here. Mm -hmm. um, but in Toronto, in Canada, Toronto is a reflection of Accra to us. Okay. Yes. So, and we're like, you know, living in the city, mm -hmm. that deep city, hustle bustle, the rush rush, the it's cluttered, it's too much stuff, it's too expensive, it's yeah. too many people, and the list goes on. Wow. Um, not, it's across great, but mm -hmm. just not for us, right? Mm -hmm. um, just like Toronto was great, but it was great. never for us. Not for us we were right. living in a small town. Well, it's it's in the city. It's in the, the GTA. GTA. It's called Oshawa. Yeah. But it's more of like a um, yeah. What what would you call it? Suburbs. Sign, kind of. Yeah, it's more of a suburbs. And before so, I was living in Mark um, Markham. Yeah. Or Unionville, and that's another suburb. It's, out yes. In York region. Yes. So you guys just want the the nature and the nature. The, connected to more yes. you know, of the trees and oh, exactly yeah. we okay. needed this yeah especially for healing reasons wow. as well yes. Tell me about yeah. It. yeah um for me mm. i i've been dealing with an unknown illness mm. i we don't know what happened to me okay. but it was to the point where i was bedridden i wow. yeah the left side of my body was just in so much pain Ooh. my ribs like i felt like i was having a heart attack all the time yeah. like i thought i had heart problems but i've done every test x-rays, um, CT scans, ultrasounds, you know, MRI, I did everything and they didn't find anything wrong with my heart, mm. but they did find inflammation on my ribs. Wow. They didn't know what was causing it, um, but it, w it just crippled me and I couldn't do anything. Wow. I got so skinny, I was, really? I was unrecognizable. Yeah, nobody knew like what happened, you know. Um, so, but I knew, I, I knew some of it had to do with my previous relationship I was in an abusive relationship um, and I took it very hard I th and I think I was holding in a lot of stress um, and I think that's what was happening I was just tensing all the time on the left side um, and it just manifested that way so when I finally got out of the relationship mm -hmm. my body I guess was I don't know how to explain it to yeah like it began to finally be like oh okay you're out of that situation okay. But now, I don't know, it just attacked, started attacking itself, hmm. you know? Um, but now it's starting to finally mm -hmm. get better. That's and so being that's, here, that's the yes, the sun, wow. the sun, the natural foods here. I can go to the tree over there. I can go to the tree here, get a coconut, get a orange. I've seen where you guys are. Yes. Huge house. Yes. Yeah. It's beautiful over here. You guys Thank have you. everything, yeah. coconut on your land. Yeah. There's yeah. oranges, there's, yes. wow. Plantain. Plantain, yeah. cassava. cassava. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're blessed. <laughs> yep. Yeah. From where we were coming from, we had a very stressful life. Yeah. Uh, for me, I was living in government housing because mm. I was in an abusive relationship and I had to get out. Mm. So the government put me in housing, mm. which wasn't the best 
living situation, but it did allow us and afford us to, to save a lot of money, mm -hmm. right? Because I wasn't really paying much to live there. Okay. So that is also what helped us to get here. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. It's a journey. Yes. Journey it's a journey. Through. Now, you are on the continent, yeah. right? Tell me, how, how is it feeling like, you know, you know, challenges, regardless of the challenges you guys are going through, what would you say is, is moving you? Um, I, I don't know. It just feels like home. Yeah. Like, it just feels like we should have always been here. Wow. Yeah. yeah. It's just you feel normal, natural. Being, yeah? you feel yes. 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 Well, there's there's yeah. good and bad, obviously. There's okay. good and bad. Let's talk about yeah. the challenges. The yeah. challenges. Something um, that you'd say, oh, this is a challenge. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can say for challenges, like mm. obviously being in the Western world, we are, are to. prone to certain conveniences. Mm -hmm. And now I won't say that these conveniences are like the best conveniences, yeah. but they're conveniences nevertheless. Mm -hmm. And it um, ha had us depend on them. For example, always being able to just, there's always water, whether there's a borehole or not, or whether you're using Ghana water or not. Mm. Um, there's ele there's electricity, there's lights all the time, unless you didn't pay your bill, mm. right? Right. Yes. right. But then, um, and it, it, to pay the bill too is easier, I guess, than stuff going to do the prepaid and get the card and go on the prepaid and go get it topped yeah. up and come back. Right? It's an inconvenience. It's a slight inconvenience, but then again, we are, I'm pretty sure elsewhere, that doesn't it's not yeah you can talk up on your phone right. yes you can do it on your so, phone so yeah. we understood that mm -hmm. it's available mm -hmm. but not necessarily available across the the, the country mm -hmm. so it's like okay so it's not a horrible thing completely mm -hmm. um and then you know other conveniences such as like okay all right okay i want to go and get some stuff um you know to, for to the cook. kitchen for us yeah. guess like a local su supermarket mm -hmm. yeah. now the the market is great oh it's amazing yeah but then the supermarket yeah. at least will have more variety yes. of things and it's more accessible right um and then you know exactly where to get it like for example i say i need to go and get um a specific type of mm -hmm. seasoning mm -hmm. right? yeah i can go to the supermarket and go in the season you aisle the and there right it is. yeah right in the market i would have to do a little up and down and yeah. ask questions yes. and stuff. Yeah. And those who may have seasoning may not have the seasoning that we want. Yeah. Right. And they were like, oh man. Like, mm -hmm. But again, mm -hmm. even though those are deemed as inconveniences for us, mm -hmm. when we do the comparison, mm -hmm. we realize, okay, well, it's just light compared to what we mm -hmm. are missing I, yeah. based on the cost of it. Mm -hmm. Now that's where we can now weigh it and be like, oh, so it's not yeah. an inconvenience anymore then that's true right like yeah. for example the cost of the light or cost yeah. of the water or um yeah. cost of what we buy in the market mm -hmm. you know we could look at the way and we're, we're good okay. yeah you know? it's more affordable okay. yeah oh yeah but you, you would say you guys are comfortable very oh, yeah. that very back now to a month and a half a month we've been here very yeah. fresh very we're fresh very fresh yeah wow. so ghana is treating you nice and very good. nice oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah the people very are nice. so nice so beautiful yeah. they're so helpful mm -hmm. they just want to help yeah you know, so. and there's a major thing i can add mm -hmm. that's that's very good i i, I made myself think that's not even the best way to explain it mm -hmm. um when you were mentioned about challenges mm -hmm. um as a, a coach, a mentor, a youth worker, um, I spend too much time seeing too much um, violence, too much police brutality, too mm -hmm. much injustice mm -hmm. uh, in, on the streets, in the corporate world, in the schools, in the families, everywhere, mm -hmm. uh, in, uh, in Canada. Mm. Um, and also the level of, of discrimination racism mm -hmm. and uh, all that mm -hmm. like you know the level of things that we've had to to deal with uh of things to deal with based on being as they would call us black mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. um even, uh, even though we know we're african through our jamaican descent it's being able to be here and know that i don't have to call myself any of those yeah i'm a man mm -hmm. i'm a free man that is I have no words to explain how that feels mm -hmm. wow. to those out there watching. Like, you know, you know your reality. You know what you experience. You know what you feel, right? Especially black men, right? Our, our black, beautiful queens. Of course, you feel your own version of it. Mm -hmm. But 
to be able to step out your door and to walk the streets and know that no one's looking and saying, hey, look at that, that black man, yeah. black woman or whatever, or in a, in a very negative way, mm -hmm. right? And mm -hmm. then the rest that goes along with it, uh, just to say, I'm a man. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Mm -hmm. I see it means a lot to you. It does. Mm -hmm. I see it means a lot to you. It really does. Yeah. Because of the trauma that um, the racism and, mm -hmm. and, and injustice yeah. in, in the West, in Canada, there. Yeah. yeah. Happens every day. Yep. Yeah, every day. So many young people, uh, people of all ages, mm -hmm. of our people, mm -hmm. specifically, lose their livelihood. Like, yeah. They lose opportunities. They lose hope. everything. Lose hope. And and at the and they lose their lives, mm -hmm. like literally. Like mm -hmm. they just, cop says, "Hey, I'm pulling you over." I say, "Okay, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna get my license," and bang, bang, they're dead. Yeah. They're reaching for their wallet. The cop just, yeah, just trigger happy, right? That happens, even in Canada. A lot yeah. of people don't want to admit it, but it happens a lot across wow. the whole. Country. Because I heard Canada is a peaceful country. It is the most peaceful, way better than America. You are saying it's it probably is. is. I, I wouldn't say it's okay. not. Okay. But it's not. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe if you go out in like you know, fat pass in the north. Mm. Yeah. You know, close yeah. to Alaska. Out there, so Where there's no people. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, you guys have, have uh, with all this experience in the West, in Canada, the traumas came along, the segregation and everything. You've you've touched down on the continent. You've seen how it is here. Yes. It's been fresh, sure, one month and a half. Yeah. What would be an advice that you tell the people out there, that things that you wish you knew, mm -hmm. give them as an advice, and then let them decide for themselves? What would you say has been something that you'd be like, oh, I wish I knew this, and anyone coming know this? Or um, even, yeah. Yeah, let me think of that. That's a good that. one. Yeah. yeah. That's a very good one. Mm -hmm. Because well, you've seen it. Uh, well, yeah. I, I, well, for one thing, mm -hmm. <laughs> for one thing, a lot of people need to understand that the reason why they're not coming here too, is a lot of people are not vaccinated, oh. right? So they, they're afraid to even come here. Mm. So if you knew that you don't have to actually be vaccinated to get here, mm. you should yeah. come. Okay. <laughs> okay. Get your butt here now. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yes, well, for sure. Yeah. Wow. Well, well. They should come. They yes. definitely need to get come. on that plane and get here. They need to come. I believe it is uh, every diasporan's duty yeah. to themselves and to their own kind, our mm -hmm. own people. And your soul. Everything. Everything that makes us who we are, yeah. they owe it to themselves. They owe it to everything. Yeah, to so come. To, to touch the continent, any country on the continent, mm -hmm. and just see what you have been lied about yeah right it's been lied to you all your life just find a way to get here mm -hmm. and then you'll be like oh mm -hmm. now i see mm -hmm. and then you can take it from there wow. yeah wow mm -hmm. amazing <laughs> yeah <laughs> now let me let's talk about business a little bit a lot of dashmen want to come actually yes. some are hesitating oh do i have enough money to to move to the continent how much money do i need mm -hmm. Uh, for those having that kind of worries, what would you say to them? Well, we mm. didn't come with a plethora of money, mm. right? Mm. But we made sure to save enough. Mm -hmm. yeah. And we also made sure that we had some money coming in from Canada mm -hmm. monthly, at okay. least, yeah. right? So, so business, you have to have yeah, like some kind of income coming in, maybe from, from Canada or okay. the Western world. It helps. It really does help. Okay. But another thing, because mm -hmm. uh, we're, we're entrepreneurs mm -hmm. and we do see opportunities everywhere. Everywhere. Right? Yeah. So we were like, oh, wow. Really? Me, yeah, so maybe if so. this, what, what like, like <laughs> if there was a bowling alley here, yeah. I think maybe. people would like it because it's different, Everything. something different. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. There's different, and, um, like, foods, mm -hmm. you know? Maybe people would want, I feel like something, people That's would good. want, um, Pizza, a different type of pizza, I know. Because <laughs> uh, the pizza here is, is really good in Kofridia, but it's it could be different. <laughs> yeah, it's, no, yeah, it's it's not smaller. like the yeah, pizzas yeah. we well, know. We have the large yeah. Right, yeah. 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 Well, we, are, we ordered the, the, the mega. The, yeah, the family size. And it's a medium. Yeah, yeah. it's like a, it's a medium. I experienced that too. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and it tastes a lot different. Wow. So it's really good. Yeah, yeah. so food, we can invest in food. 
food yeah. companies here for sure. Wow. Guaranteed. Yeah, yeah. Well, it will it will thrive here. What else? Um, <laughs> drinks, maybe like um, I know peanuts are very popular here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So like a Real. peanut drink. Oh, wow. Would be good. I want to do something like that. Oh, wow. That yeah. Cool. I have, yeah. there's something in my mind. I'm, I'm, I'm like a, the peanut punch? Yeah, it's like a peanut punch, a Jamaican peanut punch. Oh, wow. I want to do a version of that here. Yeah. Yes. Nice. When it's ready. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Wow. So it's all about food. You think food will Yeah, be, food yeah, will thrive here. Okay. For sure. And based on all the stuff that we're, we're doing. Yeah, that's exactly yeah. what I was going to say. What parks we're doing, for kids. The things that we're into is uh, the, the parks, mm -hmm. the facilities for... Um, physical education, pretty much, yeah. and like the kids like to do more things, um, safer places or zo areas and zoning for kids to just go and be free, mm -hmm. like you know parks, you know, or a facility yeah. say kids go play, go in there, um, like you mentioned bowling alley, those are entertainment a aspects, yeah, um, bowling alley, a little more movie theaters, you know, yes, um, more things to be more of a to entertain Lively. themselves yes and create life. jobs as well right that's yeah. a major thing yeah. to create jobs for our local um ghanaians that's mm -hmm. the major thing for us like we don't want to do things mm -hmm. that's combining like all this ex import stuff we're like no no is it made in ghana mm -hmm. are you yes. from ghana okay let's just get that let's work together support yep. our own okay that's what needs to be done some more things like that um and then the rec center is that what we're also yes. trying to build okay. um, some place for again kids to come and play train do other things um, mm -hmm. add to different schools mm -hmm. more mm -hmm. more stuff for the kids to do and families okay. and then also things for our seniors seniors right yep. we have a heart for seniors as well mm -hmm. that they get to do things social things an area that they can come and sit down mm -hmm. and just talk play cards yep. play chess mm -hmm. play checkers they do lawn bowling mm -hmm. Um, yeah. There's a game called pickleball. Mm -hmm. It's a, a game that's it's like a, a life-size table tennis. Mm -hmm. It's great for uh, for elders to be playing, so they Moving have their mobility, body. Yes. and they it's can. Like the badminton? It's like yes. badminton, but slow yeah. down. Okay. Yeah. Right? There's competitive versions of it that's fast, and also it's just more casual. But it keeps them moving, and it's nice. And places that can have walks, yes. trails. These are all great ideas. Yeah. I see you can't stop it. Yeah, <laughs> I, 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 I got so more. Much. I got more. Yeah. <laughs> now, it's it's funny how Ghanaians and people living here, young Africans, yeah. have the opposite. That oh, I don't think I'm going to be able to make it on a continent. Mm -hmm. I need yeah. to go to US, UK, uh, Canada, the paradise before I can make it. If you have an advice for them watching, what would that advice be? Wow. I'm, wow. I don't know. I, I have spoken to our young people already, our, yes. the basketball team. I talked to them. I said, listen, you guys asked them first, what yeah. do you see? Yeah. And why do you want to go to uh -huh. live? Yeah. And they give me their stories. And that's it's pretty much the same thing that we've been saying that we've been lied to uh -huh. about the continent. They've been lied to about the Western world. Yeah. They think as soon as they get there, it's going to be money, 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 money. They're going to be rich. They're going to mm. have this and that. And it's not like that. So when I paint the picture of just realistically mm -hmm, mm -hmm. what it really is, now they start to look at me like, oh, I didn't know it was like that. Of course you didn't. They didn't tell you that. Mm -hmm. Just like how they didn't tell me how beautiful mm -hmm. Ghana is, how mm. beautiful Africa is. Mm. You know, so we yeah. both have something that we have been, right, misinformation. Yeah. So, yeah. so I would say, hey, if you can, go visit. Yeah, go visit. visit. Learn whatever you need to, to learn there. Right. Get certain skills that you want to get. Come back home yeah. and apply it here. Right. Yeah. That is awesome. Yeah. That is yeah. awesome. If, if you guys are given the chance, right, to mm -hmm. change one thing on the continent mm -hmm. uh, here in Ghana, what would that be? Mm. Ah. I don't know. <laughs> I, I've seen when you asked this question before yeah, to other people. And I I'm know. like, I, I have no problem to answer that question. But yeah. now I'm like, I say, oh. oh, what would do this? Um, a lot of people, you guys come from a different perspective. Yes. And you guys are easily to identify problems that can be easy. Yeah. Because yeah. you've seen it being solved. And right. Sometimes yeah. I ask that because I want to see a perspective. How can we solve this problem? Can we do it differently? And if there's yeah. one specific thing you think, oh, I would be able to make an impact or change this thing here, mm -hmm. what would that thing be for you? Well, for me, I feel like mm -hmm. the Ghanaians, the beautiful Ghanaians, need to not accept certain things, like mm -hmm. the bad roads. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like they maneuver through it mm -hmm. 
instead of um, being angry enough to say, listen, we need change here. We need to get this going. Um, so maybe stand up for yourself more, okay. you know? So it's mindset, okay. the mindset, yeah. Wow. yeah. wow, would that be the same, the same for you? That is a very good point, and that's, mm -hmm. I would agree with that. Mm -hmm. um, what we so-called recognize, and, and um, yes, we want to be able to, um, to see from their point of view as well. Mm -hmm. um, I don't want to obviously come with the mindset that we're like, oh, we're better than you. No. We, we've experienced this, so why don't you get it? No, no. But that's not what we're thinking. We're thinking that, okay, listen, um, like my like mom said, instead of just dealing, um, dealing, with, dealing it. with it, now, yeah. now really deal with it. Yeah. <laughs> and make them like don't accept. do it. Don't accept. Yeah, don't accept. Mediocre. The patience. Right. The Ghanaians have so much patience. Yeah. Okay. You know. Yeah. The patience. Yeah. yeah. How do you guys uh, feel with the patience and being laid back here at the Ghanaians? Oh, this is what we wanted. Oh, yeah, this is what we wanted. Yeah, yeah we so really. Don't like the go get it fast, fast, fast. We, fast. We've been doing it we, all our yeah, lives. Yeah, we're tired. <laughs> Yeah, we're tired. I mean, <laughs> yeah, so no, we're we've tired. Been doing it, we've been doing it our whole all lives. our lives, and we know where that can take us. Yeah, right. And it's like, okay, it gets you to a certain point. It gets you some a lot of success and high levels. Mm -hmm. But then when you get there, you realize, okay, it's not as great as it was chopped out to be. Yeah. So now we're like, okay, let's try something else and yeah. so on. So we know what it's like to do that. Mm -hmm. We gained enough from that. Mm -hmm. Now we're like, okay we've gained that let's use it to our advantage to mm -hmm. do other things on our time mm. yeah back. yes so we're good and then for me i have more patience than i'm supposed to have yeah uh, yes so so i'm good yeah uh, me yeah. i i'm the one who's always like let's go let's go let's go and kirk is like just calm down everything's okay so you, you know enjoy it, yeah oh, yeah <laughs> I yeah, care, man. love yeah. it, love it. So we're good. It's we're beautiful good. here. Mm -hmm. it's beautiful. You guys say this decision has been worth it for you. Yes, yeah. yes. No More than worth it. No, so never regret. Only regret is not being here sooner. sooner. But like we said, nothing happened before its time. Yeah. Um, you know, that's just it. I, I guess um, our heart is so big. We want to do more. Yeah. Like we, we really feel do. so much. You know, for people, that's it. Mm -hmm. We want. Yeah. Okay, and also. If I can add this, sure. um, we see the greatness, mm -hmm. but then uh, we also see certain things that, you know, it, it affects. I know for me, it affects me a lot when I see in, in, um, in Accra, Accra. That we, I went for the first time. Um, I was able to see, of course, people working at the street lights, which is, I, that's their hustle. Mm -hmm. And it hurt me when I, I was in the, the bus and I saw, just the corner of my eye, I saw, just somebody's head go by, and I'm like, I look down, and I'm like, what, who is that? And I, it hurt me to see someone with like one leg, and he's, oh. mm -hmm. he's pushing himself with his hand, mm -hmm. and he's on like a broken s skateboard or something like that yeah. to push him around, and that hurt me. Yeah, and I'm really like, sad. things like that, it bothers me, because I'm like, our people, mm -hmm. we are kings, queens, princes and princesses, and we deserve everything. That's yeah. great, because we are great. So what I see, the oh, sorry. disadvantages mm -hmm. that hurts my heart and i wish i could just snap my finger and say okay at least have a wheelchair something to uh, to help you walk mm -hmm. um the young people who are on the street who can't afford to go to school mm -hmm. boom put them in school or something and then the, the our women working so hard the mothers there's yes. some of them are 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 so full and they're, they're they're pregnant to the point that they should not be working so hard mm -hmm. i wish that we can just say hey let's make it easy for you so you can have a mm -hmm. an easy pregnancy and just make things easier for everybody i just wish yeah i guess the, the spread love to everybody everyone gets extra money everyone has a nicer place everyone mm -hmm. has vehicles if, if they need it. and things for accessibility uh mm -hmm. health mm -hmm. all that stuff everyone has what they need mm -hmm. because we're coming from a side of the world where those who have it um, make sure that their own people have it. Mm -hmm. And I hope everyone can read between the lines I'm saying. Mm -hmm. They make sure they take care of their own. Mm -hmm. And our own are not even working with each other enough. Mm -hmm. Because there's too much of this. Mm -hmm. Because they made our mindset think that don't trust your fellow African or mm -hmm. fellow Jamaican or fellow uh, Trinidadian or anyone mm -hmm. from the Caribbean or any, anyone that they deem us as black. Mm -hmm. Right? You know, they would rather work with the white man or anybody yeah, else, China man, before they work with our own. Yeah. That's sad. That's a mentality thing. Mm -hmm. We have to 
break that programming and do better. Take yeah. care of our own here and abroad across the world. Uh -huh. We just gotta do better. Just wow. gotta do better. Wow. If you yeah. have, I know you said a lot, but if you still have a final message mm -hmm. uh, for people watching, uh -huh. something that's on your heart, on your mind, uh -huh. what would that message be? I would tell people, don't listen to what other people say. Like, if you really want to do something, just do it. Mm. Because usually it's them who are afraid to do it, mm. right? They're, they're putting their fears upon you. Yes. So they are trying to limit you mm -hmm. from what you can do. Mm. But if you are living, you're breathing, you're able, go do what you have to do. Wow. Don't let anybody stop you. Wow. So to you, if you have a last message for the people watching from the diaspora, Ghana, what would that message be? Well, uh, my message would be to, uh, I guess, to the diaspora, get yourself together and invest in the continent. It doesn't have to be Ghana. It could just be anywhere across the continent of Africa. Diaspora, come home. Mm -hmm. um, and to the Ghanaians, I will say to you all, please know who you are and start to come together. Come together like legit come together with each other, build together, work together, make money together, and rule together, because you need to know that you are what everybody wants to be. Uh -huh. You are the greatness that everyone's trying to be, uh -huh. right? And all that's around you is nothing but paradise and greatness. Uh -huh. But you have to know that it's there. I always say before, you're walking on precious gold but you need to know that it's there uh -huh. and find a way to use it for your benefit and let it be for real, Ghana to the world. During our interview, you made mention you moved to the continent with your father. Yes. And uh, he's here with us. I would like to speak with him and sure. uh, ask him how was it like the first time he, you know, heard about Africa or that someone told him about Africa and how you were able to convince him to bring him to Africa. Oh, it was difficult. <laughs> <laughs> so difficult. So how did it come about? When do, you, when do you remember telling your father for the first time that? Hey, Daddy, I want to move to the continent. And what was the feedback? And then we hear from him what he said. <laughs> <laughs> he, I called him, mm -hmm. and because at the time he was in Florida, okay. and I said, "Dad, we're we're going to be moving to Africa." He's he said, "What?" <laughs> He's like, "Are you crazy? Are you nuts?" <laughs> He's like, "What are you going to Africa for?" You know. What for? What for? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Now let me ask you. Uh, what what should I refer uh, his proper name? Uh, Roger. Roger, 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 Roger. 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 Yes, Not uh, more Mr. Roger, Roger. Roger. Okay. More Mr. Yeah. I want to know because she's told me about the first time she told you I want to go to Africa. Yeah. And then she told me how you expressed yourself. But I want you to I want to hear from yourself. You know. <laughs> what did you say to her the first time she told you, Daddy, I want to go to Africa? Are you crazy? <laughs> what do you mean you want to go to Africa? What for? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Exactly. Wow. wow. So what did you have in mind of Africa when she told you about Africa? What was the perception you had about Africa? Well, that made you well, like the way from, you did. From, to be honest, they tell us lies from when we were going to school, right? Mm. It's after I, when I become an adult now I realize what mm. this garbage they've been teaching us for so long, for many uh -huh. years. Eh? Uh -huh. mm. A lot of people can share that with you. They've been lied to so much. So much, uh -huh. yeah. You know, it made me want to cry. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Honestly. and we want to get that out there uh -huh. for yeah. people to understand that. Listen, Africa is beautiful. Uh -huh. Africa is paradise. Uh -huh. So the damage that the lion and the media has done has uh -huh. to come out to really understand. Yes, I yeah, uh, one hundred percent with you there. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. So if you don't mind, you can share that with us. Some of the things you know, growing up, you heard that made Africa absurd even for you to even hear someone say, I'm going to the African continent. Mm -hmm. You know, some few things if you can share with us. Yeah. Oh, I, I don't want to say it, but I love Africa too much now to say it. Yeah, so it was, yeah. About it, it when was you not nice. touched down. Yeah, do you remember the yeah. first time you touched down on the continent? Do you remember? Yeah, I jumped, I, I, I almost jumped out the plane, to be yeah. honest mm -hmm. with you. I love. Yeah. <laughs> 
there's just a love there mm. for me, you know? Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. If someone yeah. told you this is how beautiful Africa was 10 years ago, would you believe that person? No, 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 no. Not like what I heard, what I had in my head. Okay. So yeah. send a message to someone out there who might slightly think or have that uh, prayer assumption about Africa. Yeah, don't listen to that, to what I just said there, because it's garbage, he's telling you. Mm -hmm. it's, Africa is a beautiful place. I, I didn't have a clue mm -hmm. where I was, she know. Mm -hmm. I didn't have a clue where I was going. I just said, I'm going to Africa. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. Right? Wow. Don't know anyone. Wow. Yeah. Wow. I have a little bit of money. Mm -hmm. it's a, you know, mm -hmm. But I love Africa. I said, I'm going to Africa. Wow. If mm -hmm. I die, let me die there. Wow. Yeah. yeah. That's it's beautiful. Got, it made me cry. Yeah. 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 I understand. How yeah. does that make you feel when your dad goes to the continent and sees the beauty for himself and he bursts out of tears? How, how does that make you feel? It makes me feel right because mm. I knew he would feel this way. Wow. Yeah. So I'm happy that he came to see Africa for himself. Well, well now, yeah. a lot of people have been lied to. You see yes. how he shed tears yes. thinking Africa was like, you know. Mm -hmm. But he sees it for himself now. Mm -hmm. People have been clearly been lied to. Yes. Let's send a yes. message to people watching from the diaspora mm -hmm. who thinks Africa is still like we live in mud houses right. and, and so forth. Let's share a message to them, the final message. The final message is you have to come see Africa for yourself. You have to not listen to what people tell you. We're living in the Western world. We're living in Canada, U.S., and we can't even afford to buy land, hmm. right? So here, our, our goal is to buy land here, build our home, hmm. and have a self-sufficient home, wow. compound. Wow. So yeah. we, we're going to be able to farm, mm -hmm. build, I mean, grow our own crops, crops. Mm -hmm. and live off the land. Wow. Hearing you say this makes me appreciate a lot more that I didn't really do. Appreciate. Yes. Um, if Grandpa, Mr. Uh, Roger, have a message for the people, what would that message be? Oh, yeah. Don't listen to those. Mm -hmm. I wish I could say the word. Those people who tell us a lot of lies. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So they should come see for themselves. Yes, yeah, they make tears come to my eyes. Yeah, I can see things. Yeah. Wow. wow. Yeah. It's because from my heart, yeah, it's I from mean. your heart. Because yeah. I know you felt you had a feeling like Africa was a dump. Mm -hmm. Yes. Because you you said that like yes. oh, Africa's a dump. Mm -hmm. Why would you want to go to Africa? Go there. Yeah, that like was the first thing I said. Yeah. Why would you want to go? The snakes. The snakes. Yeah, that yes. everything was snakes. Yes. You but know. I, I, the reason why I didn't bring that up because I, I, those things are gone out of my head. Yes. Yeah. Because you've seen I the truth want, now. Eh? But is, what she's saying is true. I, yeah. Did, that did happen. Eh? Yeah. Yeah. But I don't want to go back there because yeah. Yeah, cause it's it, not. It was a bad place for me. You know? Yeah. Wow. Made me yeah. cry, man. Yeah. 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 Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Dad. Yeah, yeah. You're gonna help a lot of people. Yeah. I hope I do. Yeah. yeah. I think mm -hmm. people would see the truth for themselves and then their lives. You know, lies can only go so far. Mm -hmm. The truth will always prevail. Exactly. So, so true. Guys, you judge it for yourself. They mm. moved to the continent. From, yes. Uh, they moved to the continent from Canada. Yeah. And uh, you can see for yourself. If you're watching this, I wear to a wise. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. So please subscribe if you're enjoying this episode. Comment down below what you think about um, them moving to the continent. Also, I'll leave your information on the screen. You can connect with them. And uh, yeah, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you. you too. Yes. Now, thank you guys so much for sharing your story with my audience. And uh, we really do appreciate we had an amazing conversation. Oh, yes. <laughs> Definitely. So, I mean, if you guys, if you did enjoy the video, I'm going to leave all their, their uh, details in the description, also on the screen. Reach out to them, network, you know, connect with them. And they are, if you enjoyed the episode, I want you to share to your friends and family don't be selfish yes <laughs> yes don't be selfish <laughs> subscribe to the uh, channel and uh if you want to share your story too the email will be on the screen maybe you'll be the next to share your story with the audience and uh thank you so much for watching and uh, yeah say bye bye yes thank you, thank bye. you. Bye. bye till next time <laughs> yeah. do you say you are more uh, comfortable or happy since you came there yeah 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 he's definitely I've never seen my dad so happy yeah. he's wow. always been you've never seen me cry <laughs> yeah I've never seen him cry but he's always been tears of joy tears yeah. Of joy. I, 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 right out of my mouth <laughs> like people would call him 
miserable, I guess. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't the fact that he was miserable. It's just he was just not happy mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because he left Jamaica to go to Canada to have a better life, mm -hmm. right? And to have a better life for us. Mm -hmm. But he was not happy. Mm -hmm. He had to work, 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 work his whole life. You know, and yeah, now it was a little bit of money. Yeah, you, you understand what I'm saying? Because back where I was, there was nothing going, nothing going on with money wise. Eh? Mm -hmm. so everybody was poor, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So they lie to you and tell you that this is going to fix all your problems, and you realize doing the same thing again and again and again. Yeah, and the yes. Getting worse. Over and over. Exactly. Worse stuff. Well, you have no money. Yeah. He. That's all he did all his life was work. Like we would hardly see him because he's always working. So what kind of life is that, mm. you know? So now when I'm seeing him here mm. in Ghana, mm. I see how happy, he's always laughing, he's always smiling, mm. he's always looking outside and just, wow, I'm, I'm in paradise. Wow. I've never seen my dad wow. like this before. And he's healing from illness, mm -hmm. right? So I'm, I'm just happy to see him progressing every day. Yeah. yeah.